everyone. Today I want to do a product spotlight of a really interesting sword uh, that we make. It's our Caliano sword. I have one right here. Uh, this uh, is uh, a member of the kind of family of swords from Venice that eventually gave us the Schivona. Right? You can see the pommel here is the cat's head design, if I turn it this way, right? looks like a cat, uh, that uh, was taken up by the basket-hilted Schiavoni. Uh, the quillins, the cross, here is tightly S-curved and essentially ribbon-shaped, which is another characteristic of those later swords. Uh, you can see here a spiral-wrapped uh, grip, which is a really nice design element. It feels great in the hand. Uh, the blade on these is hexagonal in cross-section. You can see that here, right, with a flat section across the center, tapering down to the edge. Uh, it is, uh, has a high degree of distal taper in it, and the sides remain parallel, basically all the way to the end where you have this sharp uh, kind of reduction to a point that's almost a 90 degree angle. Uh, that may be a bit of a classical uh, illusion on the design of these swords. So this one, the original that this is based on, uh, is a museum uh, in Istanbul in Turkey. Uh, it dates to the late 15th century, and in fact we've named it after the Battle of Caliano, which was uh, a contest or a fight when uh, the Venetians were invading Tyrol in... Uh, boy, 1487 or something like that. I don't remember the exact date. You can look it up. Uh, this kind of sword, even at the time, was really distinctive, right? It wasn't a super common form all across Europe. Instead, it was a distinctive form used in Venice that was described by the Venetians as a schiona, uh, let's see, as a spada schiavonesca, spada schiavonesca, right? which essentially means a Slavic sword. Right? In fact, we have accounts from the late 15th century of uh, the guards of the Doge of Venice, uh, his elite cavalry, essentially being uh, soldiers from Albania, Macedonia, Yugoslavia region who dressed in the Turkish style, right, in the Ottoman style, and who used these distinctive uh, swords. Uh, probably largely from horseback. You can see here that the grip is about five and a half inches long, making it relatively long for a one-handed sword. But if you consider that it was probably used from horseback, uh, people probably had some armor on uh, when they were using it. That longer grip makes sense. Also, if you were on foot, you can get two hands on there uh, for the fencing styles of the day. Now, this sword, right, is really best understood, I think, as a kind of transitional type, right? a transitional form uh, that contributed to a bunch of later uh, sword forms, especially these basket-hilted swords. Right? So the Battle of Caliano is actually the first time that uh, Lands Connect uh, forces uh, were brought to the defense uh, of the Tyrol and really started to become a, a force uh, in European uh, history, and the Venetians were probably using many swords like this. I think it's kind of interesting that this S-shaped uh, cross here uh, is something that we also see in many of the typical Lands Connect cat's boggers uh, of that same time period. I'm not saying they were based on this, I'm saying they're both emerging out of the same time period and the same kinds of places uh, where they were clearly related. Um, this sword is a really interesting one for anyone who is curious about this particular period in history. It's a fantastic cutter. Right? It, the blade gets quite thin uh, out for the point. It's a great cutting and slashing uh, weapon, and it's a pretty cool piece to add to your collection. Feels great in the hand. Thanks.